So we got some more pictures here of the Transformers Legacy Evolution War Dawn Dion and Aerial 2 pack. We have some in-hand images here. Um, so I guess uh, someone was able to get it. Um, there was from a Reddit user, UN Peace. And so we're going to talk about these figures. So far, so good. I am enjoying the retooling of these. Um, I hope there's no QC issues. And it does look like he does come with the Energon Goody. Uh, you know, same thing as Cup and everything. Same gun and everything. But he has the backpack on Dion. And an Ariel, man. I, I really did not... I was not very fond of the Prime Universe RC mold, but she wears it well. The head sculpt for Ariel is amazing. I mean, it almost looks like the cartoon. So we have all of the players. Still don't know what Dion's supposed to become. Um, maybe, maybe we'll get some clarification on that. But let's go ahead and look at the figures here. Uh, so we have them in their vehicle modes here. And it's sharp how they did the motorcycle and everything from that mold I, oh i want this set this is a good set and here's comparing i think that's road rocket to walmart repaint gosh i mean just the wheels and a few extra pieces this thing looks good and of course dion you know in the vehicle mode he's still cup but you know he has the remolding and those extra blasters that form like the backpack and here's uh ariel in her uh robot mode and again the head sculpt uh the paint job i mean everything works i mean even from the back she's got different molding in the back um i think it looks like the arms are the same uh but she's got like a gun looks like she's got it on her hip or plugged in somewhere uh but there's a lot of retooling in the chest and i think in the waist so yeah you're gonna be pleased with this i think this is going to be a side after set and i think hasbro knows it and she's got a little mini blaster um, looks like the, I guess she can do the whole wheels thing like uh, the original Prime Universe RC. And here is Dion. And with the backpack, he does look just like Dion. And, um, you know, I was surprised a little bit that they were going to use the cut mold. You know, I, I just didn't know. I, mean, I thought they were going to maybe use um, the hotshot mold myself since they did that in the TFCC. But nope, and it still works to me. And then you can take those guns off and he's got double firepower neat so if you want to make him look like a pacifist you do that or you can just give him the gun and say hey do your thing and he does of course come apart like the original uh cup does and there is um the titans return uh alpha trion so this person doesn't have the hero reborn set neither do i and uh here he is standing next to the uh power to primes orion pax looks very a little out of place because that orion pax is fairly large but looks good and of course here they are grown up and a lot of people think that dion became ultra magnus as some think he came from magnum i think but anyway yeah this is gonna be a problem and i mean a good problem you know this is it, it's a set um i think a lot of people are gonna be pleased with it um yeah i mean i really think uh this set looks good i i'm impressed um i look at i like the materials i like the uh the colors i do like that i think that well, and, and seeing this come to fruition and giving it a more g1 aesthetic i think is what's gonna pull the nostalgia heartstrings of everyone because of that pivotal episode so in my opinion yeah this is a this is a must buy if you're a g1 fan i know some people aren't but if you are or if you're just into repaints like i know a lot of people are this is your opportunity to pick him up pick them up so what are your thoughts again we got more pictures leave those thoughts down in the comments below i think it's a good set this is Super Robot Ed, bringing you more news and reviews. Until then, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.